हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम टू लक्की फिशन किचन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू मेक आलू पराठा आलू पराठा इज नथिंग बट पोटैटो स्टफ्ड चपाती विद अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ इंडियन स्पाइसेस इफ यू येट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्लीज क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन नाउ लेट्स टेक अ लुक एट द इंग्रेडिएंट्स दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड टू मेक दिस डिश फर्स्ट नीड द चपाती डो बॉईल soft boil 2 to 3 potatoes with the skin and keep it aside these are the masala powders that we will be using today 1 teaspoon of red chili powder 1 teaspoon of amchur powder half a teaspoon of coriander powder turmeric powder and garam masala powder a little bit of kasuri methi now let's get cooking first take the boiled potatoes and peel the skin off keep it aside knead the chapati dough and let it rest for a few minutes after few minutes make dough balls and keep it aside now take the boiled potatoes and mash them well there shouldn't be any lumps it should be a soft mash after mashing them well now it's time to season it season it with a little bit of salt please do remember that the dough the chapati dough already has some salt in it so add the required amount of salt add all the masala powders and give it a good mix in order to add a little bit of fresh element to the dish i'm going to add a few coriander leaves chopped coriander leaves to the stuffing Now give it a good mix. Now the stuffing is ready. Now let's see how to make the parathas. Take one of the dough balls, flatten it, dust it with a little bit of flour and make small thick chapati out of it. After making the chapati, a little smaller chapati, add around 1 tablespoon of the stuffing, the potato stuffing that we prepared. add that and seal it on all sides seal it on all sides with the dough now turn it around dust it with a little bit of flour and now start rolling the paratha the paratha should always be a little bit thick if you try to roll the paratha very thin the outer layer of the chapati will get torn and the stuffing will be all around and it will get messy so make sure you roll it a little bit thick now after rolling it put it on a hot tawa add a little bit of oil to the hot tawa add the paratha add a little bit more of oil and allow the paratha to cook instead of oil you can also use ghee for cooking the paratha now this paratha has to cook well on both sides so cook it on low flame and flip it once in a while this is because all the powders the curry powders the spice powders that we added to the stuffing we just added it raw we did not cook it so once we cook this paratha in a low flame it will allow the powders inside to also cook and it will result in a very good tasting paratha else you will be left with a very raw paratha with the raw smell of all the chili powder and coriander powder so in order to avoid that just make sure you flip it two to three times on a low flame So in this paratha I have not added any onion or garlic if you want you can add chopped onions and mashed garlic to the stuffing and this paratha does not require any fancy side dish you can just serve it with a bowl of yogurt topped with a little bit of cumin powder or also with a raita now the aloo paratha is ready to serve I hope you like the video please click on the like button do subscribe to lucky fusion kitchen Thank you see you soon